Okay folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast and it's a beautiful morning. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful weekend, light winds. Uh, there's a chance of rain on Saturday, but not until the afternoon. So if you can get out there, uh, get it done. And the, I think the fishing is gonna be spectacular, especially for the grouper and snapper because we are working on a very slow tide this weekend. And I'll get into the tides in just a second. Um, but I've been getting asked questions about how to catch bait in deep water and, and things like that. So what I want to show you is I want to show you kind of what the bait looks like, the differences of baits between white bait and thread fins. So I'm going to get into that in just a second. Now you can see right here, that's white bait. This up here is thread fins. So when you're searching for bait, you definitely want to make sure that you know the differences between the two. Thread fins are always up in the water column, and white bait will be too, but as you can see, it's piled on the bottom here. So what I did is I had to move quite a bit away from the marker itself because the tide is moving pretty good, and I wanted to throw my light net. And so what I did is I actually chummed right behind the boat, right on the motor itself, so what happens is it slows that, that chum down just a little bit to get down and then it starts to move. So that's what I did is I was throwing the chum right on the motor itself and then it would kick back out and go towards the, the marker. So what I did is I threw my lightweight net. I stayed about 25, 30 yards away from the marker and let it sink to where the chum was going to. And I got a live well full of bait. I got about a half a bucket. I'm not gonna be out here for real long. So let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast. Well, folks, <laughs> I went out scouting this morning, looking for a couple different spots. And literally my first bait in the water, I caught this nice red snapper. So people, one of my friends just sent me a picture the other day of them catching red snapper. I have a couple spots inside Tampa Bay that we can catch them. Um, it's pretty amazing, they fight awesome. Oops. But it's not season yet, so unfortunately I can't keep them. But I found another red snapper spot. my third drop down nice red grouper third drop down third different species you gotta love fishing in Tampa Bay they're so strong Now what's happening is I'm sitting on the edge of this ledge and it's near some spots that I have, but I hadn't had this one marked. And what I did is I went up on the shallow side of the channel. So I was up out of the channel and I like shooting my side imaging off the edge because there I'll see the rocks in the start of the ledge and it allows me to find some new areas like that. I don't do it enough, I should do it more. But as you can see, there's there's quite a fish, quite a bit of fish in here. What I'm doing is I'm using a one ounce orange jig head. I just missed that one. And I'm using a piece of cut thread fin. And I'm just hooking it right in the back, just like this. And just kind of pitching out just a little bit because the tide's running pretty good still. So pitching out just a little bit and letting it come down to here. And once it gets to the back of the boat, they're on it pretty quick. Well, right now I'm in the middle of that major feeding time and every bait that I'm sending down is getting walloped. This was on a big thread fin. There's a nice one. He would be a 
keeper. That was on a whole live thread fin. Get out this weekend, do it. I highly recommend it. Now let's get into the Friday fishing forecast. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the tides for Saturday. On Saturday, we have a high tide at 9.46 at 1.56 feet. And then we have an outgoing tide till 2.26 at 1.22 feet. And as you can see, it's a very slow outgoing tide in the late morning, early afternoon. So if you're gonna concentrate for a grouper and snapper, that is the tide to do it on. And then we have an incoming tide until 8.03 at 1.84 feet. So again, not a very quick moving tide. On Sunday, the tides move a little bit better. We have a high tide at 10.13 a.m. at 1.71 feet. And then we have a low tide at 3.53 p.m. at 0 0.89 feet. So it's gonna move a little bit more, but not much. And then we have a high tide at 9.41 and 1.67 feet. Now let's go ahead and talk about the salooners. Okay, for the salooners on Saturday, we have a minor feeding or a major feeding time from 8.06 to 10.06. So that's gonna correlate with that slow outgoing tide. I think that bite's gonna be really good because the last three weeks on the minor and the majors, the bite has been unbelievable. Then we have a minor feeding time from 158 to 258. So again, another prime time to be in the spot that you wanna be in. Now on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 857 to 1057. And then we have a minor from 301 to 401. Now, I just want to say to everybody that's subscribing to our YouTube page, signing up for the contest, if you have not signed up for the contest, we're getting ready to pick our 11,000 winner. We're about 350 short of getting to 11,000. So if you can go and subscribe to the YouTube page, uh, we would really appreciate that. Sign up at our on our uh, website, I'm having trouble thinking this morning, at tampabayfishingchannel.com again we appreciate all the support everybody buying jigs all kind line floor carbon rods reels cast nets we really really appreciate we're working on some big things right now i'm pretty excited it's going to take a little bit of time for me but we're going to be releasing some products here very shortly that i think a lot of you will like um, i'm really excited about it uh, chad's really excited about it so Again, thank you for all the support, and if you get out in the water, good luck. If you see us, stop by and say hello.